Like the Big Blue Leviathan known as Conrail that came before it, the Norfolk Southern never had many fancy, funky paint schemes on its diesel locomotives, at least not before the year of 2012. Also like Conrail, NS was a minimalist road that did not believe in spending money on things like cosmetics. So when anything out of the norm came along on its diesels, there was sure to be a following that came along with it. For nearly 20 years from the date of its creation in 1982, NS's monochromatic black and white thoroughbred paint scheme was the mainstay of its engine fleet and little about it changed in all of that time. But a handful of more than the 1200-9s that the railroad would ultimately acquire managed to escape the common corporate look of the railroad's status quo. Buried in the middle of the 9700 number series are about a dozen or so wide calves that have a solid white face versus the ubiquitous unibrow that covers the windshields, headlight, and number boards of the other 99.8% of its Dash 9s. These white faced Dash 9s can be somewhat hard to notice at first glance, but they're out there, just waiting to be discovered by the sharp eyed rail fan. I caught number 9767 third out on NS Train 12T on June 25th. 2015, less than three months before NS would take over the DNH South Lines. I caught it again six months later, almost to the day, on December 19, 2015. Far from Scranton, but still in Pennsylvania, it was just a few days before Christmas when I caught it again hustling westbound on the Pittsburgh Line, rambling through Hummelstown, Pennsylvania on a unit intermodal train, probably bound for Chicago. By the spring of 2016, the A team, though the trains 10A and 11A, were scheduled freights on the Sunbury Line. On May 5th of that year, Whiteface Dash 9 number 9783 blasted northbound to Binghamton, New York with an 11A train in tow. Two months later in the summer, and again almost to the day on July 18, 2016, the 11A sister train NS Train 10A came south from Bingo Town with the 9746 leading the descent. The following year in May of 2017, I caught the 9770 as it trumpeted by eastbound, second of two towards Enola on a manifest train that I didn't get the symbol of. Two months later in July, I caught the 9746 again, the same one on that 10A that we just saw two trains back heading to Northumberland, gliding southbound again. This time it was the Enola bound train 11Z. Another two months and now it's Indian summer. The date is September 9 and today's 14R has the 9754 trailing second out of this train's typical three engines. Like all northbounds on this line, this train is destined for Binghamton, New York where it will change crews, swap blocks of cars and head further north to East Deerfield, Massachusetts, possibly as a different train symbol. Our last white face Dash 9 of this video comes to us in the form of an old friend that we've run into twice already over the past two and a half years. 9767 is blasting northbound to Binghamton, New York. Not in second place or even third, but now it's leading the pack of two orange westerners on the assault of the 10 mile climb to Clark Summit. The second unit is an EMD SD70 ACE with the isolated cab and third in line is a GE Evolution Series locomotive, more commonly called a Jeevo. As I round out this video on NS's white face Dash 9 diesels, another anomaly comes to mind. NS's white face diesel fleet wasn't limited to just the Dash 9s. A handful of EMD SD70Ms from the same era also had the experimental face mask. So maybe we'll talk about those in another video.